Good morning from the San Diego Zoo. We're starting our day early because this is a zoo I've heard a lot about. I've always wanted to visit, but it is a big zoo. So you've got to start early to get it all in. There's two things I want to accomplish today. Three, one, have fun. Two, find out if the San Diego Zoo really lives up to all the hype that we have heard for years. And number three, is it worth the exorbitant ticket prices? Let's go find out. Well, we were here 30 seconds and got overwhelmed, <laughs> but a good tip from a docent is first thing you do is do the included free bus tour. So it takes about 30 minutes. You go all the way around the zoo and you kind of get a lay of the land of where everything is. So. so we're hopping on a bus. So we just finished the bus tour. Tips? Sit on the right side of the bus. Most of the things that they talk about happen to be on the right. Of the animals. If you want to see behind the scenes, you enjoyed being on the left. On the left, because yeah. Because we saw a lot of the behind the scenes buildings and things. Yeah, yeah, where they keep them off exhibit and that kind of thing. Yep. So I was okay with that. But... Most of the workers here suggested that we go on the upper level of the bus. And I think that was good because when you do see animals, you're kind of up above them and you can get a better glimpse of them when they are available because they're in the right spot to see them. So I think we saw some elephants, koalas, the jaguar, leopard, some monkeys. I don't remember what else was out, but uh, yeah, it was it was really interesting. They talk a lot about the conservation efforts that they're doing and the survival programs. So I think it was very nice to take the bus tour from the informational standpoint. Um, now I don't know necessarily whether I would suggest it first thing in the morning or later in the day because it didn't really help me from an organizational standpoint, but it was just informative about the zoo. A little more than half our day half the park maybe maybe it's really hard to tell but according to the map giant map we've done this half of the map we still have this half to go it's three o'clock the park's open till nine or the, i guess the zoo is open till nine so we still have a lot of time but there's a lot to see here it's a good thing it's open late yes it's the latest zoo, I think, that I know of we, that's open this long. We got a little bit of a late start in terms of walking around and seeing exhibits because we did the bus tour. Um, but I think it was helpful or it was neat to see some. We saw some animals from there that we haven't seen when we got to their exhibits. Yeah. So that was good. I would I would still recommend the bus tour. Whether you do it first or not, I guess that's still up to you. You get some information first that helps you go around, but you don't necessarily get a lay of the land, which is what I think we were hoping for. But... You got to see some animals early. If we do early in the morning, you get to see some animals that are out that might not be out later because of temperature eating patterns. One thing I would mention as a tip is the San Diego Zoo has an app for your phone, and I would get that. Um, in combination with the paper map, that has helped us because you got the paper map kind of for an overview. The app actually has a map on it and can locate where you are at <laughs> at that moment. Oh. And it's also, it has information on activities that are going on, but it also has information on the animals. So when you're at an exhibit, you can pull that up on your phone real quick and answer questions or whatever if you can't get to a sign or you don't see the sign. Yeah, I think it has more information sometimes than the sign does or, or additional information. So, yeah, the, the, the app for this park has been, zoo has been very useful. So, all right, we have okay. more than half a zoo to do. Yeah, so. so let's go. <laughs> a little after 7 p.m., we're still going strong, I guess. <laughs> Slowing down, but still going. We just took the Skyfari ride, which is included in your ticket. You can take it as many times a day as you want. It's a, a nice way to get and zip all the way across the zoo, basically. The thing is, when we first tried to do it earlier today, I have no idea what time, but early, late morning, early afternoon, the line was super long and we did not want to wait. And we also realized we were going to miss a good chunk of the zoo by doing that. So we opted to do the entire zoo first and then take it back to a part. And now we're just gonna hike it back to the entrance. Yeah, you don't see as much of the zoo as I thought you were going to on that. Oh. I mean, it's it's a lot of tree cover, so that's what you see. It's a neat view of the sand, part of the San Diego skyline and you get a feel for how big the zoo is. Um, but again, I see it more as a way to quickly zip from one side of the zoo to the other. I think for families oh. with kids, <laughs> that's gonna be a quick, easy exit way to get out of here um, because you're essentially going from like, I'm going to call it northeast, but I don't think that's the right direction around here, <laughs> side of the zoo to the exit. But um, yeah, I was expecting to be able to look down and see the exhibits, but it, we're so tree covered that you really can't yeah. see anything. But a nice view of some of the buildings in Balboa Park. So that was a really cool yep. vantage point. 
and it's included in your ticket and it's a nice time to give your feet a break for a few minutes and enjoy a ride <laughs> it's getting to be the end of the day the zoo is going to be closing soon but we thought we would stop on our way out before we lost all of our light <laughs> because it is 8 p.m and the zoo closes in an hour and we have been here since Nine, eight, nine-ish. <laughs> it has been a full day, and you can spend the whole day here if you or your family are up to it. I, I, I'm starting to see a lot of dreary kids and adults at this point. <laughs> so we started this morning by having three things to figure out. One was, can we have fun here? Answer, yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> Lots of fun. Yes, we did. The second one was, does the San Diego Zoo live up to its hype? And it, in my regard, I think it does. One of the things that stuck out to me about the zoo is how many different species are here that I've not seen at other zoos. Agreed. And that was one thing that we've commented on multiple times all day long. And we've been to quite a few zoos. I know we haven't been to all of them, but I think every time we got to an exhibit, we're like, oh, that's new. Oh, what is that? I've never seen that before. Oh, that's creepy looking. Oh, that's cool. And just just the variety, whether it was a reptile, a mammal, a insect, a whatever. Lots of new, lots of cool stuff here. Well, that's what I was going to jump in and say is even if we've seen a species, there are subspecies here that we've not seen before. So that was cool. So, yes, I think it lives up to its hype. The third thing I said this morning is, does it hold up for the exorbitant ticket prices? We are here in July of 2024. It is $74 per person for an adult to get into the zoo. That's probably at least twice of what we have spent at other zoos. Is it worth it? you get a lot here for that price. I think for paying double that price, you're getting double the zoo than you are in many other places. So from that, I think it's worth it because of those cool exhibits and the animals that you see here and the things that are included, like the bus ride, the aerial safari, uh, sky tour thing. And you can do those multiple times if you have time in your day or you make the time in your day. So I just think, I think it really is worth it. It is pricey. And there are ways that you can lower that price, but you can get some um, like city pass type things where you might get a ticket to SeaWorld and a ticket to the zoo and a ticket to this. And it's like a lump package. So look into those if you're a family. For just the two of us, we just paid full price to get in. But I don't well, know. It was We were here for almost 12 hours at that point. That's <laughs> It's interesting you say we paid full price. We are members of zoos elsewhere, and we always watch for the reciprocal pricing, which tends to be 50% off at some zoos. Some zoos are included as 100%. There is no reciprocity here at the San Diego Zoo. They are flying solo. <laughs> well, and, and their members don't get it other other places either. So it, does, it, go, it doesn't go both ways no matter what, because they just don't participate. When you're trying to decide for your family if you should spend the money and come here, I go back to those unique experiences and the animals that you're going to see here. For instance, they have koala bears. I've never seen koala bears at another zoo, at least not the ones we've been to, because they're a very protected species and don't get out of Australia all that often. They also have some of your iconic animals like giraffes and elephants and they also have polar bears. That's another unique one that you don't get too many places. I'm trying to think what else we saw today that stood well, out. Well, something to keep in mind, we didn't get to see it yet today because they're not on display yet, but the panda bears are back at the San Diego Zoo. They were here about five years ago and then had to go back to China, and they've been working. They said they've been updating the exhibit, and so that should be opening sometime you know, in a few Good weeks, in a few weeks yeah. here in 2024. It's here on premise. They're just not on exhibit. So we're like a few weeks too early. <laughs> yeah. They have very nice reptile exhibits. They have insect exhibits, just kind of unique kind of stuff that's laid out in a way. And, and even like you mentioned, um, the elephants and the giraffes, very nice display areas for those. Whenever we visit places like this, we try to throw out some travel tips for you. Mine would be consider it a hike. I dressed for a hike today. Comfortable socks, comfortable shoes, a sun shirt, so I had long sleeves. I had a couple different types of hats with me. We brought a camelback, so we had our own water. I, it just, I, that worked really well for me. Okay, so I did none of that. Let's just, let's just make that perfectly clear. I have my Keen's shoes on, which actually are very comfortable for me. So I had shorts. I had a tank top on. I actually only really had the sun shirt for... It was chilly in the morning and chilly now, and I maybe wore it a little bit in the middle of the day for the sun, but we were in and out of buildings and shade so much. So yeah, I did none of those things. Um, however, 
rolling into that, you talked about bringing the camel back for water. We packed our own food because the food here, like many places you go nowadays, is so expensive. There's a lot of variety. You can get everything from snacks like churros and ice cream to hot dogs, corn dogs, or full meals like um, orange chicken and rice and egg rolls. So there's a lot of variety, but it's so expensive. And for a family, that's going to add up. So the zoo lets you bring in backpacks. They let you bring in your own food, just no glass bottles and no coolers. So that's a kind of a quick, easy way to save on costs and time because you're not waiting in line for the food at lunchtime. So was the San Diego Zoo worth it? Yes, I got to check off a bucket list item and it was well worth it. We had a lot of fun today. We're tired. We've been here for all day. I would suggest if you have multiple days to do this or kids or a membership or something, spread it out a little bit, but, and take your time. It's so much fun. I don't know. I just really had a good day. It might mean you have to save some money for a little bit, especially if you have a family in order to bring them to the San Diego Zoo and enjoy it. But if you get a chance, I do think it is worth the trip. In the meantime, keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there. And remember, save the chubby unicorns. (laughs) 